Hello, welcome. So in today's short video, I just want to demo for you uh, so far the progress uh, in the 30 day bootcamp um, uh, course. So far we are just like on day four and we have just managed to do our second uh, project. After finishing all the basics of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, we have managed to do our second uh, project. In our previous project, I showed you how we did this a uh, food delivery app. We just did this and it was really, really nice. As you can see, it was so much fun building uh, these concepts that actually we practiced a lot of HTML, CSS. So in the second project, day two, after practicing SaaS, we went ahead and did a front mentor challenge. This is a nice challenge whereby we designed it using SAS. We used the concepts like uh, SAS uh, variables. We did all the responsive grid, dark mode. So we also combined um, uh, the concepts of uh, rendering where we rendered all these cards from JavaScript. So we did this project as our project too. And we did not stop there. After doing this project on localhost, we went ahead and used GitHub Desktop. We first learned about GitHub Desktop and how to use it. And then we went ahead and deployed uh, this on GitHub pages. As you can see here, this is hosted on my GitHub. Uh, so we saw how to host using GitHub pages. And you can see the project is looking amazing. It has dark mode. Uh, which was really one of the things that we cracked how to do dark mode on this, more especially using SAS. And then, of course, using JavaScript. And this is just not like, just like uh, normal CSS and HTML that's uh, dark mode. This actually persists in the browser. So you can see I can refresh this. I can put in the dark mode and then I can refresh. Even if you come on the, on the next day, this will be in the dark mode. So we looked at local storage concepts where we use local storage to store the dark mode. We also use JavaScript to actually do these cards. These cards were also many to actually do from HTML. So we decided to actually render these ones from JavaScript. So we looked at advanced techniques. Also, we looked at uh, making these responsive, like using grid and CSS. Uh, and uh, uh, using grid and flexbox you can see we made this to be nice responsive it is looking really really awesome i love it and it was wonderful building this okay so yeah this is so far what you have done in this so we went ahead and learned how to use github pages to host and we also learned how to use Netrify for hosting. So since there are so many hosting platforms, we actually exploited and saw others like Netrify, and even we are going to look at Vasari in the future, but right now we used Netrify to deploy this uh, food app delivery UI. You can see this looks amazing. As you can see here, it is fully hosted and fully working, okay? We looked at also things like using this extension, as you can see here, the extension to, uh, to preview our website, how nice they look uh, on these mobile devices. So it was really nice and we're just doing well. And if you haven't signed up for the course, please find the link in the description uh, why you're just going to get a 40% off discount so that you can just learn with me how to build 30 projects in the 30 days. So far you're on day four and we're just working two projects and the remaining uh, days we're just going to be working at the rate of working at at least one project and a half or two projects so that we just come up to patch up to build all those projects we need to do so thank you so much uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe there is more content uh coming and for those people of react and next.js i'm just dropping a big one just coming up next so yeah you just keep up if you haven't hit the subscribe button please subscribe and also like the video so that youtube can recommend it to others thank you so much i will see you in the next one